let's start by creating a sphere and let's immediately create new material and the material palette um, you can go create new material or you can just double click here on the empty space like this and you will have new material created you can drop it immediately to the object and let's double click new material so that we can have a material editor in a separate window for me it's more convenient to work like this when uh, editing material we will create uh, first for the color channel new image texture which is this world top of that thing uh, blah blah and uh, this uh, is from NASA you can download it from free from their website or you can uh, download it uh, from my website I will provide you um, with uh, high resolution images these are now smaller resolution just for this tutorial to make it faster so we have new material in the color channel and if you zoom in and render out you will see that uh, the, the specular uh, coming from the light is all over the surface we need to mask it so that the specular comes only to the water surface on the earth and we will do that by going to our material and to specular color channel I'm gonna check this and we are going to open world water mask so now if I render out you will see that uh, this, this mask has to be inverted so because now it only applies uh, to the land area of the earth and we need to apply it only to the water so uh, to do that uh, we will go click this triangle and go to layer so now this image is uh, put inside the layer if I click on the layer button here uh, you will see that the image is now inside this one layer and now we can right click uh, on this layer and say in rear invert image now if I render out you see that it applies only to the water surfaces that's good but we want to have a bit nicer nicer specular occurring here uh, we will do that by adding the extra channel by clicking here on shader noise and uh, now we have two layers we have to mix them together so I will go multiply it if I render out we see the noise but it's too big and let's go inside the noise here by clicking on the noise channel and uh, let's uh, scale it down to 0.5 and also let's change the noise type to wavy turbulence noise and let's go back by clicking here to our channels to our layers and now if I render out you see there is this noisy uh, texture occurring in the water which is exactly what we want now um, I would like to simulate uh, some sort of uh, sun reflecting in uh, the water so we will do that by creating another layer in the specular channel uh, and that will be Lumas so let's go to shaders and effects and Lumas so uh, what Lumas does it gives you uh, more advanced uh, settings uh, 
on how you want your specular uh, specularity channel to to look like. So let's go inside numbers, and I am going to change only colors here. So for the shader, I will change the color to uh, let's use uh, light orange. I already did this before, so I know exactly what I need. But you can experiment uh, depending on how you want to express uh, yourself or how you think the sun reflects in the water. And for the specular one, I'm gonna use white, that's already there. Specular two, I'm gonna change it to yellow or more like bright yellow. And specular three, I'm gonna change to some orange uh, and now you can see it also in your material preview here and you can also render it out you see there is a little bit of yellowish orange uh, uh, specular occurring but now we have to, we forgot to mix our mask in the layers because now it's occurring all over the surface and let's go back by clicking here and let's choose also multiply for the lumas and now if we render out you will see that it occurs only on the water which is exactly what we want uh, but it's not enough uh, so we will we want to go to our specular channel here and we want to adjust the height to the maximum of 100 and maybe reduce the width a little bit like to, let's say 40 so now if i render out you see a really nice effect of sun reflecting in the water you can play around with the uh, lumas channel to adjust the size of the of those additional specular channels but for me i think this will work out so next thing we want to do is to add some bump uh, so that our texture doesn't look uh, flat i mean the land uh, for example let's go here, if I render this out, those mountains look really flat in this area. So let's go to BAM and let's enable it. Let's go to texture and it's this uh, texture SRTM Ramp 2 World, also from NASA. So for now, the strength is set to 20%. If I render it out, mm, you don't see much of a difference, but it will change when we add some light to the scene. So let's do that. Let's zoom out. Let's close the material editor for now. Let's add normal Omni light and let's. Uh, put it away from the earth I will just type it in here in the z axis minus 10,000 I will also change the light settings let's say we want to have a shadow hard and intensity maybe a little bit brighter like let's say 120 we can also change the color to a little bit warmer yellowish but that's just some small uh, fine touches which will add more realistic look to your scene so let's zoom in to our sphere and let's render out Okay, now we see we have a really sharp black shadow here and 
it really looks like the earth is lit only one half of the earth is lit so if we zoom in to the same mountain area like before we see that the bump is actually not working quite well so let's double click our material again and let's change the bump so we are at the bump channel and let's increase the bump let's see what will happen if we increase it to 100 so okay now it's you see it really on the edges really really dark and that's a bit too much so let's change it to 50 and let's render out yeah it's softer so you can see the difference if I would uh, zero the strength of the bump and render you see it's totally flat if I go back to 50 and render you see it adds some additional extra bumpy texture to it what i know is that this texture map uh, has uh, some sort of error uh, in it because of the compression of the image so if you render it out you will notice in some areas of the ocean or let's pick up some other area that uh, it, uh, it adds some weird artifacts I mean now you don't see it but if we for example say bump 100 you see there are some artifacts occurring because of the bump in the ocean that's uh, it here for example so we need to mask out the ocean for the bump we will do that by going to create a layer for the bump going inside that layer and creating extra image inside uh, we will actually use the same world water mask and we don't have to invert it now like it was the case with the specular channel and uh, we will just set the mixing mode to multiply if I render it out now you see the artifact is gone and we still have our bumpy texture let's check it out how it looks uh, on the edge here maybe it is a bit too much of a bump if you see it here but when we add some extra channels uh, to it, like clouds at the top of it, uh, you will notice it will actually uh, look nice. So, yeah, uh, let's actually bring back the bump to 50. And you see, it's now better. Next thing we want to do is to add some city nightlights in the dark area of the Earth. We will do that by enabling a luminous channel in our material editor and for the luminous channel in the texture click on the small triangle here and go to fusion the fusion shader and let's click in it and let's go inside and for the fusion shader we need to create the following we need to create uh, for the blend channel a uh, colorizer and go inside colorizer we need to change the gradient like this click uh, right click on the gradient invert knots uh, delete the middle shader the middle uh, gradient sorry and uh, then uh, instead of yellow double click make it uh, a light orange uh, yellow something like this 
and then for the texture click on the small triangle here and create effects lumas this is where we meet with lumas again and click on lumas to go and change settings for it now here uh, we will need to create a different thing like um, like it's not the same like before uh, algorithm we need to change to Oren Najjar I guess that's how it's spelled uh, yeah. and um, roughness uh, we will change this to 200 this is a trick uh, I found out uh, from website Pixel Emporium I think it's called I will uh, put it in the credits uh, after I edit the video and uh, it's a really nice tip uh, which I also used for some other things in this tutorial. Uh, set the illumination also to 200 and contrast 0. I guess the color here should be white. Uh, yes, exactly, you see it here. And for the specular we need to deactivate this 1, 2 and 3 we don't need those, we just need the shader itself click here to go back once now we are back to our colorizer and click again to go back to our fusion shader uh, for the fusion shader uh, we need to create a base channel so that we can uh, we can add a picture on uh, which it will based on which it will create the city lights so uh, let's load the image and we have earth lights image and we need to set the mixing to multiply so now if I render out you see it really nice there is a city lights here so next thing we need to create we are now done with the color uh, color channels for the earth we need to create some clouds uh, in order to do that, we need a new material, and uh, that would mean also a new sphere. We can mix the texture with uh, the same sphere, but we don't want to do that because uh, we want to cast some shadows on the current uh, sphere. So, I will just uh, uh, copy and paste the same sphere, and... I will delete the texture and for the settings for this sphere I will change it to 100.5 it will be just slightly bigger than the previous sphere oh and we duplicated also the material we don't need to do that uh, we will create new material by double clicking in the material palette double click this new material and for this material let's go to color let's uh, change the color all to the maximum so that it's white we will turn off specular we don't need that we will go to alpha check it and for the texture we will open cloud texture and there we have it it is uh, the clouds and we will just uh, drop it okay this is a wrong drop it here to the new object and if we render out we have some clouds one last thing we need to add to our earth to make it look even more realistic is the atmosphere channel 
uh, or layer, whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, duplicate this sphere again. Delete this material. And we will make it 101. So this is the biggest sphere. And it will represent our atmosphere. Let's create a new material by double clicking in the materials palette. Let's open up settings for the new material. And here we will turn off color, we will turn off specular. We only want to work with luminance and with alpha. For the luminance, uh, we want to create Fresno shader. Go to the settings for the Fresno shader, and we will add uh, white is okay here. We will bring this to around ten percent, and double click and change it to light blue. That's the color of our atmosphere. And let's go now to Alpha. For the Alpha, we need to create a new layer. Let's go inside that layer. Now it's empty. And here we need to create a Lumas shader. So, shader, effects, Lumas. And uh, let's open up settings for it. Let's do it the same like we did it before for the city lights. This is white. Or a Najjar algorithm. Roughness, uh, roughness, I will leave now to 100 and also illumination to 100. Because uh, this is, I want this to affect the image a bit different. But you can also play around with those settings to see if you can get uh, better results. Depends on how you want to express yourself. Contrast 35 also. Turn off the specular 1, 2, and 3. And let's go back by clicking here. Let's put at the top of it another Fresnel uh, and let's uh, make the Lumas uh, mixing mode as a layer mask so that Lumas mixes with Fresnel and it works as a mask actually for Fresnel but for Fresnel we will just go inside and we will move this slider to around 50%. Now, if you render out, oh yeah, we have to drop this material to this new sphere. If you render out, okay, this is not what we want, but we are on a good way. Um, the only thing we need to change is we go back to the alpha channel and turn off image alpha and uh, now if we render out we will have a really nice atmospheric effect on the globe and this will always occur automatically uh, based on your light position in the scene so you don't have to worry about where you position your light We can also add some glow effect additionally, but that's just if you want to render out uh, directly from Cinema 4D. I prefer uh, rendering in uh, these are uh, these are the settings for glow effect. Uh, but as I wanted to say, I prefer rendering uh, in uh, multi passes. Uh, and if you have questions on uh, how to render. Uh, earth in multi passes and which layers you need and how to manage them feel free to ask me and this sounds about right 
I think I am pretty much satisfied with the image I got, but in this area here, the city lights should fade off. Uh, they are too strong. And we can do this by adding extra Fresnel effect to it uh, to dim it out. So let's go back to our earth uh, texture and to the luminance channel. Go in and here we created this one. So uh, let's just uh, put the base channel in a layer like this. Go inside. We have the image inside. And let's create another Fresno. And let's mix it with multiply uh, there. I think if we render now, it's still the same. We need to just invert the Fresno effect. So go inside Fresno, right click on the gradient, invert knots, and now render out and you will see your lights are dimmed at the edge. You can uh, play around with, uh, with the gradient to uh, have it more dimmed or less dimmed as you wish, but I think this will work for me. So if we rotate on the dark side of the earth, you see the Fresno is working maybe too much here also you can just say you want to have it only slightly on the border and this will do it well i'm pretty much satisfied with the result i got if you have any suggestions any questions regarding this tutorial feel free to ask me and thank you